everybody, it's Cam for Titanium. Today we have a quick video for you guys. We have a what's on my iPhone. So right now this is an iPhone 4S, but we'll be doing just a what's on my iPhone video. So I'll be going through all my current favorite apps and stuff I'm rocking on my iPhone. So obviously there's lots here. I've changed it since the last what's on my iPhone video, which I did it like more than a month ago now. So definitely lots of new stuff to check out. So. Let's start off by checking out my front page. So if you watched the last what's on my iPhone video, you saw Path, which I still have, which is my main photo sharing service, but I've now switched over to Instagram, not because I like Instagram. In fact, I like Path more. I like the way like the filters more, the way it works more, the interface, but Instagram has Twitter sharing, and Path's whole idea is that you share with only a couple friends, and Instagram has the ability to share with Twitter. And I want to be able to share onto my Twitter accounts. So that one little thing made me switch over from Path to Instagram. Now, um, the people from Path do have an application called With, which is for just using sharing on Twitter. But I've had some real trouble logging in. So for now, it's Instagram. Um, I've still got Facebook here. Still got my Apple folder. I have since still got Thermo, which is a cool little app. You can do this, and I've, there's a new history feature, which is pretty cool. But now I have The Verge, which is not an app yet, just a web link. But I will have a Verge video coming just talking about all this new stuff at The Verge. And The Verge is an incredible new site. They've got a really good mobile version. And you probably know what The Verge is if you're into tech news right now. Anyway. So that's my main screen, still using TweetBot as my main Twitter client of choice. There are things I like about um, Twitter, Twitterific, no. There are things I like about Twitterific, yes, I don't, use, I don't have that on. There are things I like about the um, TweetDeck and also about the Twitter app, but TweetDeck's still my favorite tweet bot. Anyway, second screen. Now we have newsstand here, I got the New York Times app there, I got this magazine just for the heck of it. I would like the Globe and Mail to be in there, but the Globe and Mail has not been optimized for newsstand yet, so it's still an icon. I have my tech news folder, which is full, and I also have my mobile tech news, which has Engadget in it now, the app, because I'm not reading it anymore, but I just threw that in there. No doubt, Engadget still has good news, but this is my next, I mean, The Verge <laughs> is a lot better. Still using Tumblr so I can manage my blog, titanian.net. I've got Stitcher, which has gone, gone through a horrible redesign, really hate the way this new dashboard interface works. I have TweetDeck, uh, Jetpack Joy, which I did a review of before and is a really fun game. You can check out the review by clicking on the apps. Like, I'll have a playlist on this video, which is just showing off all my app videos. Um, great fun game. Kind of bored of it now, not playing it as much. I have cards there. I'll be doing a video of cards. Uh, it's that service where you pay $2.99 if you're in the US or $4.99 if outside the US, and Apple will print a card and mail it to you. Craziness. Um, also have Steambird Survival, super fun game. I'm playing this quite a bit. I'll probably do a review of it. So really fun. You can just do this plain stuff. Like it's like a sort of like an RTS. You stream for watching live podcasts. Quote book, which is a cool app for taking quotes. I never use it though. Um, Find friends, just that new feature that they added where you can like look at your iPhone friends. I got with Flare, which is a cool video. I probably already covered this the last time, but. Right now, we'll go out of there. The big new one is Zombieville USA 2. I will be doing a review of this. I would do a review now. I just don't feel like I've cut, like played enough of it yet. This game is really fun. I used to play the original um, Zombieville USA on my iPhone 3G and uh, iPhone 3G, but when the iPhone 4 came out, Zombieville USA did not support Retina Display, and I don't think it does now. So I sort of like went away from it because it just didn't look very good. But obviously the guys over at Mika Mobile have done a really great job and there is so much cool stuff in here. Customizable characters, customizable guns, upgradable, way more weapons to choose from. Really, really fun. It's just an insanely fun game and I've been having tons of fun playing it. So I'll just do a quick little game test here, but I will be doing a full review of this game. And when the review is up, you'll be able to click right here to, play, to go watch that. So I've been upgrading the sniper rifle to because that's my favorite weapon. Oh shoot. I 
I'm not very good, but it's really fun. It's hard to play when you're looking through a camera here. Wow, I died really fast. It is hard to play when you're looking through a web um, video camera thing. Anyway, really fun game. I'll have a review coming out of that soon. Uh, if we go to the final screen here, I got GarageBand, which is a new app. They finally released GarageBand. Well, not, I shouldn't say finally. Nobody was really ever expecting it. But they released GarageBand for iOS mobile devices now. Oh, what's going on? Um, it's really, it's full featured. It has all the features of the full version, which is pretty incredible. When you think about it, we can just play this like built-in song here. So a very cool app, incredible that it's full featured. I did do a review of GarageBand for iPad, I believe. That was many months ago. I think I did. I might have never posted it. I'm not sure. Uh, still got Path, Netflix, Flickster, Quora, which is a really cool app I've picked up since last time I did this, I think. And it's basically like a service where people will ask questions. And, you know, like people will ask questions and like it's really kind of like geeky and like there's lots of really cool people on here and then people will answer and it's sort of like Yahoo answers for like geeky questions and like stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. RDO, I have not like subscribed to RDO yet. I think I'm going to. I used to use it when the, I used the free beta, but then I kind of forgot, but then I brought it back. I think I'm going to get it. It's 10 bucks a month, but I might. Anyway, um, I got my account on here, which is just for checking my usage. Cut the rope. Infinity Blade, not Infinity Blade 2. I will get that and test that on the iPhone 4, but it's not out yet, I don't think. Fruit Ninja. Shazam. Temple Run, which is a new game I picked up, which is pretty fun. We'll just pull this up here. So, here we go, resume. So, quite a fun game. Not the full version, but I think I'm going to get the full version. Very cool. So, quite enjoying it. Pretty fun, just like, quick thing, just waste some time. Nothing really like, you know, not, not a lot to do, just pretty simple, but... Pretty fun though, like we can do. Ouch. So, get that out of there. Um, I have Oink, which is the new, like, sort of thing rating service from Kevin Rose, who is the genius behind Dig and all that stuff. So, he has started this whole new app called Oink, and it's a service for rating things. Um, I may get into this, probably not. I don't know. Just thought I'd download that. Our choice, which is that Al Gore thing, it's a really not like it's a really cool example of a really cool app and how it can work. Like, it's just really well done in a way. Like, you can do all this stuff. Not that I necessarily subscribe to global warming, but a very cool demo for what iOS can do. When you add up the amount of coal plants planned or under construction, so we'll close that. So that's what's on my iPhone right now. Uh, I've just gone over some of the top, well, my main, all my apps on this device right now, all the stuff I'm running right now. Obviously there's tons of stuff in here <clears throat> and these are just what I'm using right now. Um, you can just do this quick, take an Instagram. So that's what I'm doing right now. I may, you know, do some different stuff, get some different apps. I'm going to be doing more app reviews. I'm going to be doing lots more videos coming out soon. I have a Galaxy Note inbound. I will be doing a Galaxy Note unboxing, review, all that stuff this week. I'm getting the device this week. So get ready. That's going to be fun. I'm really hyped for that. So I've been pretty short on videos the past couple of weeks, but it's going to get crazy because I'm getting the Galaxy Note. I'm going to do a big review on that. Um, so that's going to be good. And then after I do the Galaxy Note stuff, I'm going to be doing Galaxy Nexus. So lots of cool stuff to be like, you know, checking out right now on Titanium. Stay tuned, lots more coming. Uh, put everything you want in the description. What do you think of these apps? I'm having a Zombieville video coming, possibly a Steambird survival video. Do you like these? You know, what's on my iPhone video? Should I do them more often maybe? Uh, favorite, subscribe, whatever, that'll help out me a ton.
helps me out. Helps me out a ton. So, Camera Titania, I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios, amigos.